Hey, how you doing guys? Uh, we're here to talk about AMD's Pro Render. Now, I think this came out earlier this year in, in April. I pretty much missed it. I, I don't catch everything. So I really wanted uh, to go in depth with this because it looks really good because I, I believe it's good to compete with NVIDIA and the other uh, video card vendors because that kind of forces them to come out with better software and hardware. Now, What's the most amazing with a lot of AMD stuff? This is open source and it is supported by Vulkan, OpenCL, and the first um, renderer to use actually support Metal 2 from Apple. You can also use non AMD graphic cards such as NVIDIA, multiple GPUs, and you can even mix AMD and NVIDIA together, as well as, of course, things like eGPU. Also supported by these, right now all it's supported is with uh, Cinema 4D, Unreal Engine, Autodesk Maya and 3D Max, Blender and SolidWork. And uh, most notably, um, Cinema 4D now supports uh, and is actually integrated into uh, Cinema 4D. So you don't need to download and install the plugin, which is kind of comprehensive, actually. And also, um, they have a beta plugin for Modo. So uh, we're actually going to show you um, installing and uh, running the uh, Blender um, AMD Pro Render plugin. Hey, how you doing, guys? Uh, we're going to take a look at installing the Pro Render plugin for Blender. It can be a bit tricky, that's why I'm kind of covering it. And uh, once you download the plugin, we're going to go ahead and start it up. And it'll just take a second to uh, pop up here. Now, we already installed it previously, but we're going to go ahead and do a reinstall just to show you. And I did have a few problems. It might have been internet connections. It wasn't. Uh, quite working for me. Now it seems to work, uh, be working uh, fine and uh, doesn't seem to be... oh there we go. Now here we're just going to uh, reinstall it again just to show you. Now once you pop it up here um, you simply copy and paste this into a web browser and then you simply sign up to uh, get a re registration key which we already did and uh, we're going to go ahead and copy paste that in there and uh, go ahead and continue with the uh, rest of the install Now once you install it will actually ask you where the um, the actual Blender application is located. Um, this can be tricky because normally when you uh, install Blender, unless you do kind of a custom install, it will actually put the folder in there and so if you just simply select the folder it won't work so you simply um, go to the application and then click it to show the actual application and then you're going to go ahead and choose that. Once you do that you can go ahead and uh, open up uh, the Blender application to uh, use the render engine which we're going to show you here just in a minute. Hey how you doing guys and uh, here we are in Blender 2.79 now once you install the Pro AMD Pro Render plugin for Blender um, as long as you have uh, 2.78 and above, it'll support it. Um, so we're going to go to the very top for your render engines and you simply uh, select the Radeon Pro Render right there. Now going on to the right side, once you do that you actually have many selections. And uh, we're actually going to go to the uh, RPR Final Render Device and from here you, get, you have all kinds of selections. Um, here uh, I've got two uh, workstation graphic cards. You can select one, the other, or both. As well as 
CPU rending, you can use both as well, and the amount of CPU threads or cores. And then for each section that's supported, you can actually go in here and um, select what you want to use with the Pro Render. And just to show you, it's installed. There's the uh, Pro, uh, Radeon Pro Render uh, icon right there. So I uh, really love the uh, AMD Pro Render engine for different applications. I hopefully see more in the future. And until uh, then, uh, see you guys later, and thanks for watching.